Okay, so far I've introduced the analysis method to solve for rigid body velocity, which is rigid body motion equals translation plus rotation. Now, I'm going to introduce an alternative to solve for rigid body velocity, and this method could actually be more powerful and fast and convenient. It's called instantaneous standard method. Okay. Now, look at a rigid body. Okay. Of any size and shape. I pick two points on the body. Okay. Now, imagine that this rigid body is attached by two strings. Okay. And these two strings meet at a point. So this rigid body is rotating about this point at this instant. Okay. So at this very instant, <coughs> this rigid body is rotating about this point O, and the velocity of A will be perpendicular to this OA strength. Okay. And velocity of B is perpendicular to this OB strength. Okay into this fixed rotation, right? Now, <clears throat> at this instant, this rigid body would have an angular velocity of omega. Now, looking at the definition of velocity, okay, equal to the omega vector, cross it with r, okay, since this is rotating about a fixed point, therefore, Velocity of A is perpendicular to this ROA, which is going this direction, along OA direction. Right? Perpendicular. Same thing, OB is perpendicular. Okay? Now, <coughs> as far as the magnitude goes, velocity of A simply equals to the magnitude of omega multiplied by the length of OA. That's all. Okay? So this cross product reduces down to this simple relationship, okay? And for B, same thing. Now the velocity of B equals omega, magnitude of omega, times length of B. And recognize that velocity of O is zero. Okay, so this point O has zero velocity. And it is this point O that is instantaneous center. Okay. And why is it called instantaneous center? Because at this very instant, okay, this rigid body okay, can be thought of as rotating about point O, okay, that is the instantaneous center, where the velocity of point O is zero. Okay. So, <coughs> so for any rigid body, okay, at any given instant, we can find a point either on or outside of the rigid body that has a zero velocity. Okay? And this point is somehow attached to the rigid body. Okay? If this point is on the rigid body, of course it's naturally attached on it. If the point this point is outside the rigid body, like here, then this OA and OB will be the two imaginary strings that attach point O to the rigid body. Okay? So this point has zero velocity. And the main equation now would be then the angular velocity equals to velocity of A divided by L OA also equal to velocity of B divided by L OB from the previous equation. Okay? So this is a constant. Okay, this okay 
is the angular velocity of this rigid body at this very instant. And equal to velocity of A, the magnitude of the velocity of A divided by the distance between instantaneous center to point A also equals to velocity of B divided by L O B. Okay? So this equation is the essence of instantaneous center method. So this will allow you to find velocity of A okay, and B and maybe omega okay, knowing one of them. Okay, really this right, gives you right, three equations, right? Two, right, these two and then these two or these two. Okay? So the key here is identify where the instantaneous center is. And then figure out the length, the distance between this point to this point, to this point to this point. And just use the equation. Okay. Let's look at an example. Let's use the previous example to illustrate this instantaneous center method.